Hi hi, I want to talk a little bit about sounding. Uh, I just made this brief short video to help you be able to to read sounding with help of Windy. I just went to a, a course with a pilot called Eval. It's very good. Yeah, I hope you understand. And uh, stable versus unstable, it kind of yeah, lets you know how the day is going to be, how, how high the thermals going to climb. So, yeah, hope you enjoy and uh, yeah, don't hesitate to ask any questions or if there's something I should have mentioned that I didn't, just uh, let me know in the comments field. Alright, enjoy. Hit the menu button, then the install Windy plugin, and then load the sounding. The blue is the dew point, the red is the temperature, the green is thermals, the brown is the mountain, the shaded is the cumulus, the purple is the wind, and the grey is layer clouds. The grey is the dry adiabatic and the blue is the wet adiabatic lines. You want the red temperature line to be within the green field there. If its angle is to the left of the dry adiabatic, it's too unstable. But if it's in between the green field here, then it's good for thermals. If it goes to the right of the wet adiabatic, it's too stable and you won't get any thermals. Here you can see a sounding. You see the wet adiabatic and the dry adiabatic. The red temperature line is pretty parallel to the dry adiabatic. Before it goes to the right, the air becomes stable and it kills the thermals. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe if you already haven't. And uh, check out the high altitude winds uh, video. Alright, see you next time. Fly safe.